Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this week on Toys, the Universe, and Everything, I'm doing something a little different. Uh, I love collecting retro toys and games, and those things can be really expensive. Not as expensive as one of these things, but they can still be really expensive. So, say you just bought a classic Sega Genesis, or a Mega Retron, or an analog SG, or even... Even one of these things, if you're completely insane, and you should not be using these as your day-to-day -day system, but whatever. Let's say you have something to play Sega games, and now you don't have a ton of money left to put games in it. You could go out and buy the high-profile games that everybody's eventually going to want, like uh, Contra Hardcore or Gunstar Heroes, my personal first choice off of any list almost. Um, but you can break the bank really fast that way. So what is the best way to stretch your collecting dollars. Well, sit back and relax uh, while I tell you the top 10 Sega Genesis games under $10. The rules are really simple. Uh, all the games on the list are generally under $10, loose, without box, in the wild. You're going to find a scalper charging way too much money for anything, really. But these are the games that are generally cheap at mom and pop stores, eBay, or wherever you may look, as long as you're not trying to get the box. Box. Don't touch. I'm not actually touching it. No touching. Not actually touching it. So at number 10, we have. Frogger! I know it's an odd choice uh, that people don't think Sega when we say Frogger home port, but this is as good as port as you'll ever see from the 1980s with the proper arcade soundtrack. Released as a budget title when the Sega Genesis Model 3 was a thing and mostly found in Walmart bargain bins, this is a game that will surprise even original Sega kids who had moved on to newer systems by the time this showed up. And for five bucks, it's worth bringing home to your lily pad. Our next entry is a title that is a true Sega classic. For eight dollars, you shouldn't start a Sega collection without Afterburner. Even though the Genesis lacked true hardware scaling, the stock Genesis version played admirably well and gave the feel of the arcade even though the 32X and Saturn versions later perfected the home port. This is still a great version for the eight bucks it pulls, bringing our stack to a measly $13. At number eight, we have another title from the golden age of arcades. Miss Pac-Man may not be a game you associate with the Genesis, but you should. It is two player co-op, competitive, with optional speed-ups, new mazes, and even an ending. For $8, this needs to be in your stack during get-togethers. Remember, this game is one that only works properly, only works properly, if you turn it on with the little mode button down. That's what that button is for, right there. Yep, that's what that does. That's really all that does. Yep. Stupid. <laughs> By the way, we're only at $21. Next, we have the budget title for retro RPG fans, Fatal Labyrinth. This game got middling reviews when it was new. In the age of gaming mags and maps, and many people didn't care for randomized dungeons and item placement. However, in the age of roguelike adventure, this game has aged better than many from its generation. This ahead of its time RPG is only $9, but who can put a price on slaying dragons and saving the world so this lady can do her laundry outside? Fatal Labyrinth brings our grand total to $30. Another great party game gets our number six spot, NBA Jam. The four-player arcade sports classic is full of simple, addicting gameplay, hidden characters, and endless hours of fun. You'll be quoting the announcer constantly and smack-talking with the best of them for $5, making NBA Jam one of the best and cheapest games on this list, and we're only at $35. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Is it the shoes? Beware. 
The highest rated Golden Age arcade cart is at number 5, the Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. There are only two ways I like to play Defender, on the Atari 2600 and this collection on the Sega Genesis. Why? The modified controls don't make me insane. I would rather play Defender here than on my Rampage 1-Up Arcade, and Defender isn't the best game on here. You get Joust, Sinistar, Defender 2, and Robotron as well. Nothing beats playing Robotron with a Sega pad in each hand for proper twin-stick shooting. This collection may not be 16-bit at its finest, but it is a great way to experience all of these classics for cheap and great to have at parties. Another $9 brings our shopping total to 44 At number 4 on our list is a game that everybody that collects Sega knows about. And this is one of the true standout titles on the Genesis. Add to the fact that it's a completely unique game to the Super Nintendo version, and you've got a game that should be in any Sega collection. Its animations are stellar, it controls smoothly, and it has personality to spare. The music is great, and for $9, this is an action platformer that needs to be in your collection before prices catch up to reality. For now, it bumps our stack to only $53. Number three on my list, but number one in my heart, well, after my kids, uh, is Super Monaco GP. That will only hit your wallet for $8. Another scaled back arcade super scaler game, GP is so much more than, it, than its arcade counterpart. The title and ending graphics are insane. The controls and feeling the speed is some of the best of this generation. And the season mode where you can challenge other racers to steal their spots on other teams, including their cars, is just fun. People play People pay a lot of money for OutRun on Genesis, but Monaco GP gets the checkered flag and for a lot less money. Anyone notice how tall our stack is getting? Uh, we're only at $61. Not bad. Number two shouldn't surprise anyone. The only reason this game is cheap is because it is super common. Uh, who didn't have Mortal Kombat 2 back in the day? Fatalities, babalities, friendships, the pits, the spikes, even the rage-inducing bosses are here. For $6, get your six-button pads out and don't even think of trying an activator. I don't care that it's in the options. $67 and one to go. Oh yeah. That other fighting game sequel is also under 10 bucks. I'm sure you'll forgive me if I cheat here and declare a tie for number two between the two best two-player fighting game number twos of all time. No one should have to tell you to buy a game called Street Fighter 2 if it is staring at you in a store for $8. But here I am telling you to buy Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition for $8. Super Street Fighter didn't make the list because it actually runs closer to $20. But for the price, you're getting the classic lineup of characters and you're playing it on a Sega that has something way over the Nintendo versions. The Sega 6 button pad. All fighters need an arcade stick or at least a pad with 6 buttons on the face of the controller. Sorry Nintendo kids. Not 4 plus L and R buttons, but 6 on the face. Six buttons on the face. On the face. On the face. On your face. No, on my face. On your face. I'll put it on my face. Buttons. Six of them. Stop the it. The Genesis version runs fast and smooth, and you should have it. At least until you can afford Super Street Fighter 2, but hey, for eight bucks, you can have Mortal Kombat 2 and Street Fighter 2 and still be only at $76. Finally. Finally. My number one pick that you should get to start your Genesis collection without spending all the dollars. Dollars. For a whopping $9, the Sega Six Pack. It may have 46 games less than the Action 52, but this cart has five of the best reasons to own a Sega Genesis. And Super Hang On. Hang On isn't bad, but the controls do feel a little sluggish. Still, Super Hang On does have new features, the best of which is that there are five other games on the same cartridge. Sonic the Hedgehog, Streets of Rage, Columns, Golden Axe, Revenge of Shinobi, 
This is just like if Nintendo put out a multi-cart with Mario, Zelda, Metroid, Tetris, Kid Icarus, and Excite Bike. People would lose their minds. If Metroid Prime comes out on a collection disc, collectors lose their minds. But Sega puts five of the greatest games of all time on one cart, and people are not impressed. These games are still fun. Your kids will still love Sonic. Columns will appeal to your Candy Crush playing friends. Golden Axe and Streets of Rage will send you to Brawler Heaven. Revenge of Shinobi is one of the most stylish action titles ever made. And this revision may not have Batman or Rambo, but Spider-Man is in there. Separately, these six games could crush your wallet. But this compilation cart only runs $9. And that, ladies and gentlemen, takes our total for this haul. Drum roll, please. <laughs> $84, and that is with an extra game. 11 games under $10 to start your collection the right way. So did I miss something? Uh, what is your list? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you think I'm super wrong, still like and subscribe so you can tell me how super wrong I am in future videos. Remember, no matter what your questions are about toys, the universe, and everything, the answer is always to have fun, which is easier to do when you're not broke. Isn't that right, Pumpkin? Yeah. Until next time, everybody. Bye. You could complete <laughs> for under 10... <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Let's start over. <laughs>